Why am I wearing a wool cap? It's not wool, it's a cotton cap. Well, I just checked the weather widget. Weather widget, say that five times fast. I don't just press a button on the keyboard and up pops this stuff, and one of which is the temperature, and what the expected highs and lows will be for the next seven days. But we warmed up. It's now six degrees. Six degrees, and that's, that's warmed up. Welcome back to Rob's Feet Today. This is episode number 102, and I'm Rob Schendel. Maybe you're a college student living in a dorm. Maybe you just live in a small studio apartment. What you need to do is get over to dormco.com slash rob. Once you're there, you'll find all kinds of items specifically designed for folks living in small spaces. That's dormco.com slash rob. So I'm wearing the cap. I like the cap. I've got several of them. I've got more hats than anybody I know. I don't care. Got like seven different cowboy hats. I've got not fisherman driver's caps. I've got um, a fedora, um, different color baseball caps, a ton of them. So, but uh, I just kind of felt like this would be the one I'd wear. I don't want to have to put one on later. And actually, it's not because sometimes, you know, it's for sure if my if it's a bad hair day for me. I'll have a cap on, or a hat on, or something. That's not the case today. I like the way my hat, my hair looked before I put this on. Oh well, <laughs> but it's uh, quite it's actually quite comfortable here. Uh, of course, I've been I've been working, I've been working hard. I don't even know what I want to talk to you about from as far as current events or politics or anything of the sort. Although I gotta check my notes because I do have a couple things. But I have been so busy. I think last time I mentioned that I had this pile of laundry over there and stuff. I have again another pile of laundry. I have totally cleaned out one section. This is one great giant room. Not giant, very, it's quite, actually quite confining. But it's, if you put quadrants, <coughs> one quadrant now is cleaned out and the table is there, one table is there and this is where the new studio will be in that corner now I've got uh, a, a old desk and stuff over that side it's gonna go over there but in order to get that there I've got to take this assembly all down and I got to take the bed from over here and move that someplace and it's like well I can't move one I can't move that there if that's there and I can't move that there if that's there and this is gonna have to all come down so I thought I'd stop in and say hi to you before I did any of that. Oh, and by the way, every time I move any one of these pieces, it's a big major job to scrub the floor underneath it because I don't know the last time it's been done. But I'm always planning. I was so pleased that with myself. Now uh, I I uh, I wanted to get this network associate this this. Uh, Network attached storage, the router system, all totally wireless. And it occurred to me that, well, if the hard drive, the external hard drives, or the, the network attack storage is how I want it to be, well, if that's attached to one computer, will I be able to access the files on that drive on the other computer? Because they will both be functioning then. And I looked at the router, and the router has four Ethernet ports, but the Accessories, be it the printer or be it the hard drives, they're USB. And how do I? So I'm looking at another router that's going to put things off along because this wonderful new sleek router that Cisco just came out with is $179, which is about $70 more than the one I bought and have used only, I don't have it connected even. I, I, I've tested it and used it. Well, I figured a way around that. So it's going to just be to my design perfectly. It takes time, but it's all happening. And the and the last th well, the uh, like the adapters to make that work are on their way. They were shipped this morning, and I have uh, I forget now what else I ordered. I ordered a keyboard or something that I need for the second system. 
and that's on its way. So I'm real close. I'm real happy about that. But enough about me. Well, where do I get off? This is only a podcast called Rob's Feed today. What am I doing talking about me? Well, I do want to talk about the Super Bowl. And I'm not going to talk about the ads as much, although I did love the Chrysler ad with Eminem that paid tribute to Detroit. That was such a great commercial. Uh, Not funny. It's not supposed to be funny. But it was just a well done, beautiful commercial. And it shows, it pays tribute to the city of Detroit. But what I wanted to talk about is the Green Bay Packers. Now, of course, I'm not a big football fan. The If I'm going to watch football, I guess the only game of the year that I really make a point of watching is the Super Bowl. But here I am. I'm from Wisconsin, but I live in Chicago. So the Chicago Bears weren't in the, in the uh, competition, but the Green Bay Packers were Green Bay, Wisconsin. And so I, just out of loyalty to my heritage, I suppose, I was kind of rooting for the Green Bay Packers to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. No offense to any of you who happen to live in Pennsylvania, in the great city of Pittsburgh. But um, it wasn't until the next day that, uh, I knew this now, but it wasn't until the next day that it was really brought to my attention that uh, the Green Bay Packers, they were calling it on um, progressive radio and on the Twitterverse and stuff, the socialist team won. Of all the teams in professional sports, only one is community owned. The people of Green Bay and, and around the world bought shares of stock in this corporation known as Green Bay Packers. It is not owned by a company. It's not owned by some rich, fat-ass slob. It's owned by the people. And thanks to the uh, unique revenue sharing that the uh, National Football League instituted many, many years ago, the, uh, the team is able to compete with salaries and stuff to be you know, true competitors. But how wonderful is that? The, Socialist team, the socialist team, won the Super Bowl. And that made everybody pleased, on, as I said, on progressive, progressive channels. To give you a little history on that team, I guess a man by the name, about almost 100 years ago, a man by the name of Curly Lambeau, L-A-M-B-E-A-U, you should maybe know that name, worked for a meatpacking plant in Green Bay and organized a team And when the professional team started forming and a league started forming, he applied for his team to be included. And their their name became the Packers because of the meatpacking industry. So then about when the team got formed, the league got formed, and the rules started coming in. Now, I I don't think that uh, the NFL would allow a community-owned team any longer. But that was before the rules, and so they were grandfathered in, and and it's remained that way ever since. So that team will never move. They're never at the, the risk of leaving town in the dark of night like the Colts did a few decades ago with from Baltimore to Indianapolis. They just will be the Green Bay Packers forever. Green Bay is not that large a community. It's the smallest market in in any professional sports. Green Bay, 100,000 people. But they do support their team. They love their team. And they're always sold out. It's just an exercise in I don't know what, but it's, it's refreshing. But not to say that the Pittsburgh Steelers don't deserve some sort of acknowledgement. I understand that they are great supporters of their community. They're big backers, they sponsor a lot. But I heard this too, they also contribute to a lot of right-wing political causes. So I don't, I would guess that with right-wing comes anti-gay too, so I don't know what to say about that. But I am pleased that the Green Bay Packers won enough football. I'm not gonna talk that much about football, I should have worn a football helmet, but That's the one hat I don't have. 
Have you ever heard of Gordon Klingenschmidt? I had neither until I was reading from Joe My God, one of my favorite blogs. Again, don't forget to check it out. I gave you the address the other episode. But he's a former Navy chaplain who was dishonorably discharged in 2007. But he's charging his followers up to $159 to fax a petition to all 535 members of Congress to ask them to reinstate the don't ask, don't tell policy and to protect religious liberty in the military. Klingenschmidt offers Christian followers a tiered pricing structure that culminates in $159 to fax all 535 members and to benefit his Pray in Jesus Name project. Pray in Jesus Name project? According to Joe, Joe my God, Klingenschmidt Schmidt was dishonorably discharged for insubordination in 2007 for refusal to stop wearing his, his uniform to White House protests. Idiot. Well, I guess I should get going because, as I said, I've got a lot of work to do, and just because 12 minutes has passed on your clock, that's not how many hours, it's an hour since I started talking here in my clock. But I can't leave without showing a little video. Oh, you know me and my videos. I love videos. And this one's from someone you might recognize, also for the Human Rights Campaign, also for the measure in New York to establish marriage equality. I'm Joan Rivers and I'm a native New Yorker and I totally support marriage equality. What is it? Only kidding. Do what you want. Got my own problems. All New Yorkers believe in fairness. That's why we should support marriage equality. For goodness sakes, come on, guys. <laughs> what do I say? I suppose could give credit where credit is due. Story regarding the discharged preacher it was courtesy of the advocate.com and Joe my God my favorite blog the uh, video with Joan Rivers is courtesy of the human rights campaign any of the information about the Packers Green Bay Packers that's all from my own memory I'm not giving credit to anybody except me for that and I want to give credit to you for stopping by and checking to see what's up with me today if you're new to Rob's Free today please subscribe please rate please comment you know how to do that you may not see me for a couple days. I'll be working on my project, and I have some meetings to attend. But I expect that uh, next week it'll be all different, and I'll be back more regularly. Thanks again for downloading. Thanks for watching. I think that's all I have to say.